Oh my God, we could have talked about the match if you watch that. I've never even heard of it. Oh my God. So I'll watch, uh, if someone recommends a show to me and I can see in their eyes, like they have the taste for blood also, like they know a good reality TV show. I'm like, I'm in, take me to your leader. Let's do this. My new assistant, who's the best ever, Rachel, I love you. <laughs> um, she, I, she loves all this garbage TV. And I was like, so what, what are you currently watching? She's like, I just started watching Perfect Match on Netflix. I go, do I, should I be watching this? She's like, I, I, honestly, I'm offended that you're not already watching it. So that night I dive in and it's so good. It, and by so good, I mean so bad. And there's a guy on this show. They're treating him like he's Leonardo DiCaprio. His name is Harry. May as well be Harry Styles. This guy, they're all like, Harry's here. Oh my, Harry's the, Harry's the cutest. Harry's the best. Harry's got... 10 foot dick. He's got diamond shoes. His hundreds don't fit into his wallet. He's a billionaire. Like he is, everyone thinks Harry is the shit. Okay. I think he came from a show called too hot to handle. Um, which now I obviously need to watch. Basically he was this bad boy and he has been on all these Netflix. I think a bunch of different Netflix reality, like dating shows. He now I'm thinking to myself, who is this guy? Let me look him up. He has four point four million Instagram followers. And I'm looking at his content. It's a giant wet fart. Mm -hmm. Like it's nothing. He's not even giving me a good recipe or he's not even like doing pull-ups with no shirt on where I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. But at least you're cute. You know, like, and I, I see the Abbeys. No, it's, it's like him lip syncing stuff. I'm not getting the allure to the tune of 4.4 million Instagram followers. At any rate, he is this bad boy who wants to, I think, turn over a new leaf. He wants to be in a committed monogamous relationship. I guess he's been in therapy or that he said he was in therapy and he is cute. Like there's no way that I'm saying he's not cute, but 4.5 million Instagram followers cute. I don't know. Anyway, spoiler alert. He had this moment on the show where his dream girl comes in and it's that chick from Love is Blind. And she was the chick who was like, just wait till you see me. You're going to regret ever dumping me. And she seems really sweet, but she's very much like that, like build a Kardashian archetype of human being where it's like the lip injections, the hair extensions, the boobs, the butt, all of it. And that's totally fine. She seems super sweet, but it's very much, it's a look, it's a curated look. Okay. And that's Harry's type. And this girl walks in and they start dating. And he's like, I love you. You're the mother of my children. I can't wait to be a stepdad to your child. Like he is fucking fast and furious all in on this girl. By the way, you're in a contained, you're in a test tube. Okay. So the moment he gets plucked out of the test tube and is around other women, he literally picks a girl up. She's straddling him. He's he kisses her off camera and he's like, oh, I want to fuck you so badly. This is what he said. This isn't me being raunchy. Telling her someone needs to impregnate her. I would impregnate you. And five minutes ago, you just said you wanted to marry this other broad, the Bill Kardashian. Like, maybe just leave the show and go back into deep analysis and therapy. It was fucking wild. And he comes back to the show. And it was all the lady doth protest too much. He's crying. He's vomiting. He's in his room with his blanket pulled up over his head. Like, I can't, and he's British. And I can't do a British accent right now because I've had too much coarse light. But he's like, I can't do this. I feel so bad. I do, I'm sorry. I, oh my God, I just love you so much. I've done something bad. And when he says what he did, he goes, there were rocks on the floor and she didn't have her shoes on. And so I picked her up and I brought her, I, I walked her to the bathroom because I, I carried her there. Motherfucker, no, you didn't talk about select, like lying by omission. She was, had her legs wrapped around you, was straddling you. You said someone needs to impregnate her. And then she said, the cameras are down. Let's kiss. And you guys kissed. The, 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 he's literally pissing on this girl's leg and trying to convince her it's raining. It was the most bananas lie that it's like there's cameras everywhere you're miked don't don't you realize that and he was just riding this lie into the finish line thinking that he could make up for it by just saying that he was doing a chivalrous thing by picking up this chick and by the way the chick did nothing wrong she doesn't owe anything to anybody she's on a dating show it's you're she's in it to win it just like everybody else is and she also probably had a crush on this guy 
He's making it sound like there was broken glass and I picked up this damsel in distress so she could use the turlet. No, you fucking did not, Harry. And so at any rate, it it's a great show. You should just watch it to see this duplicitous 4.4 million, do- million Instagram follower guy run his game wildly unsuccessfully. By the way, I'm sure he has more Instagram followers from it. We're all going to die. It makes you, honestly, it makes you think I should just fucking, I, I should just do the show naked because nothing matters. If you're cute and you have got nothing to say, who cares? We'll just throw endorsement deals at you. Anyway. 